hello and welcome to the channel what you see behind me this is the 2023 honda rs for japan and eventually it's going to be available in the european market as well too i don't know about united states market but let's go ahead and uh, check it out the article and look at a little bit more picture especially the interior i think the interior looks extremely nice comparing to you know honda's uniformed interiors that they've been going with that's been in the hrv the crv and the civics civic hatchbacks you know all those have like similar interiors so when i mean by interior i mean like the infotainment area with the grills for the ac and all that good stuff but anyway let's go ahead and um, check this honda rs for the japanese market all right so this is the the front just just a little bit of a glimpse but this photo is so deceiving because it looks absolutely amazing <laughs> until they add like when you see it outside of this, then it's, it's not the same. It's it's just the way this photo was taken and altered. And it looks so good. It looks good. But once you see the overall car, then it's like, it's it's me. You know what I'm saying? Um, so let's go ahead and check out some more of the, the spec on this. So like I said before, it comes with a 1.5 engine as well as a hybrid uh, powertrain. It's going to include a 7-inch. Um, digital instrument clusters and a nine inch infotainment touchscreen that is crazy for a fit so i guess the nine the seven inch is going to be right here so you can see you know all that good information how fast you're going etc and then i've also noticed that it's going to have different drive um, selectors as well too and that's right over here um oh and then i thought this was interesting so that's why i highlighted it Honda didn't reveal the detailed specification, but said that the EHEV system in the facelifted fit provides increased motor output, improved accelerator response. Japanese buyers will have access to an ICE-powered fit, all-wheel drive variant. That is insane. Out of all the vehicles that they could have put an all-wheel drive system on, they put it on the fit. But, but can you imagine an all-wheel drive fit in the United States, an enthusiast's hand? Do you know what kind of things they can achieve? That would be absolutely amazing. But <laughs> it's yet to be seen. It's been a long time since we got, you know, like one of the regular cars has all-wheel drive. I'm not talking about the TSX. That one's different. All righty. Moving on. So the... The current Fit Jazz E HEV is fitted with two electric motors and a natural aspirated 1.5 liter engine combined for 107 horsepower and 187 in torque, which is just a ton, tons of torque. A mechanical related HRV that's combining the two has 129 and uh, 187 foot pound of torque so they both have the same amount of torque um that's a lot of torque for a small vehicle especially that that fit does not weigh much at all all right so moving on let's get some pictures so this, this is just the uh the regular one this is not the the rs the beauty and i love the interior i told you that already different drive mode so this is just the regular you know fit um, I think the, it looks like, um, what kind of car does it look like? To me, it looks like one of those, um, well, now all I can think about is cars. I don't know if you guys seen the movies, Cars, but I'm pretty sure you guys have. But it looks like one of those characters from Cars, for some reason, especially looking at an angle like right here, all I see is like a mouth and eyes, just from the angle that this photo is shot. It's weird. This one too. It's it's weird. It's weird. Oh, geez. That's all I see now. Because, like, right here, this is, like, the mouth. And then... Oh, Jesus. That's all I can see. All right. So, as you can see, the differences between the... The RS and the, and the regular fit. There's definitely a difference here. First of all, you have this nice little... <laughs> It kind of reminds me, it took a little bit of a styling from the from the new Type R. So you have like a little bit of a, I think, I don't know if this is fully functional or not, but that's kind of weird. It's got a big old grill in the front, so plenty of air um, comparing to, you know, this one, which has a little bit of a smaller front grill. And this one's more open. And then the H sign has been pushed up a little bit. Um, overall design, it, it's not completely hideous. 
but it's not great looking either and yeah I'm sure it'll still sell but if they came out with an all-wheel drive Honda Fit and they brought it to the United States I'd be curious I'm not gonna lie I would be curious I would be curious and especially with seeing the modded community can do with just anything it would be just an amazing idea for somebody to explore but anyway as always if you enjoy the content make sure to give it a like and subscribe i appreciate that so much and like i stated before this one's going to be available for japan and then maybe they'll bring it over to the european market as well too with the all-wheel drive and the same kind of power we'll see it's yet to be seen but you know as always um honda as well as toyota they always give they always put the good shit as well as subaru surprisingly they always keep the good shit for themselves in their countries um respectively and uh, i'm kind of happy that we got the type r though super excited about that i can't wait to see the new one you know like out and about and people buying them and seeing how much they sell for oof can you imagine 20 g's if not 25 but as always sorry about you know going on a little bit longer here so i will let you go now all right i'm out